Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on using the forward selection method with a multiple regression in SPSS. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have here in the SPSS data editor fictitious data that I'll be using for this example. And here specifically, I'll be looking at a multiple regression. So I have four variables that I'll be using in this example, depression, anxiety, substance use. These will all be predictor variables. And then a dependent variable or an outcome variable, functioning. So if these were actual data, we would have taken measurements using a depression inventory, an anxiety inventory, and a substance use inventory. And then we want to see how these variables contribute to a score from an inventory that measures functioning. Now there are several assumptions to a multiple regression that I'll not be uh, looking at in this video. I have other videos that cover the assumptions for multiple regression. I'll just be moving right into the analysis uh, component and we'll go to analyze and regression and linear. So looking at this dialog, uh, we can see we have the dependent or outcome variable. In this case, we know that's going to be functioning. And then we want to load all of the other variables, depression, anxiety, and substance use, into this independent list box here. So I'm just going to hold down control and select all three of the variables here in this list box to the left and just move them over to this independent list box. Now if I go up here to statistics in the top right, uh, for this example I'm going to add R squared change and descriptives and click continue. I'm not going to make any changes under plots or under save. We would make changes under these two areas when we're testing the assumptions. And no changes under options. I don't have any missing data in this example. So then we're left with the method. And we can see that's down below the independent list box. And by default, it's set to enter. So that's all of the predictor variables being loaded into the model at one time. You also have stepwise available, remove, as well as backward elimination and forward selection. So I'll be taking a look here at forward selection. Now with the forward selection method, the model starts as empty. So there are no variables loaded into the model. And the predictor that has the smallest p-value is entered into the model first. So of these three, depression, anxiety, substance use, the predictor with the smallest p-value is loaded in to the model. And then the predictor with the next lowest p-value, when included with the predictors that are already in the model, is loaded in. And this process continues, one variable at a time being added in as long as the p-value continues to meet a specified criterion. And by default for forward selection, SPSS, the alpha is set to 0 0.05. Now this is important to remember. Uh, in a few moments, I'm going to be looking at the backward elimination just to compare it to the forward selection. And you see that I've arranged these data so that each method is actually giving a different result because I manipulate the data so that I'm right around 0 0.05 with one of the variables, right above 0 0.05 with one of the variables. So for forward selection, the alpha is 0 0.05. So let's take a look at that. I click OK here, and we can see we have the descriptive statistics, uh, correlations. We have the variables entered, removed table here, and we can see anxiety. We have this forward selection method, criterion, probability of F to enter, 
less than or equal to 0 0.05. And the same thing for model 2 with the depression variable. So if I move back up here uh, to the top, you can see we have the criteria for this regression as we have P in, or the probability to enter, and P out, which is the probability to remove. Now notice that uh, the probability to enter is 0 0.05, but the probability to remove is 0.1. So for forward selection, of course, we're going to be using probability to enter. And for backward elimination, probability to remove. Now these criteria can be changed, but this is what they are set to by default. And again, as I described earlier, this can give you a different result based on a forward selection or backward elimination just because of this difference between the probability to enter and the probability to remove. All right, so moving back to where we were, we have these uh, variables entered removed. We have the criterion here, uh, probability to enter. And we can see for model one, we have statistical significance here all the way to the right. And model two, we have statistical significance. And you can see the, well, I'm going to use the adjusted R square here. You can see the adjusted R square for model one. Now, this is just anxiety alone. All right, that's the the variable, the predictor used here in model one, the adjusted R square 0.275, so 27.5% of the variance in the dependent variable in the outcome variable is explained in this case just by anxiety, just by the anxiety variable. And as we move to model two using this forward selection, so we've added depression into the model, it increases to 30.1%. So 30.1% of the variance in the dependent variable functioning is explained by anxiety and depression together by these two variables being loaded into the model. Now moving down to this ANOVA table, we have for both model one and model two, a statistically significant result. This tests the null hypothesis that the slope of the regression equation is zero, and we can reject the null hypothesis, so it's not zero for either model. And then moving down here to the coefficients table, we have model one and model two. I'm going to look here at model two, where we have the anxiety and the depression variable. And we have this unstandardized coefficient f first, un unstandardized coefficient b, and we can see for anxiety it's point 505 and for depression 0.231. So for every one unit increase on the anxiety variable, the dependent variable functioning increases by 0.505 and for every one unit change, one unit added to depression, the functioning variable increases by 0.231. Now we can also look here at the standardized coefficients beta and this tells us that for every one standard deviation added to anxiety, you have 0.446 standard deviation increase in the dependent variable functioning. And for every one standard deviation increase for depression, we have 0.199 standard deviations increase on the dependent variable functioning. And of course, notice the statistical significance for both anxiety and depression, both values below 0 0.05. Looking at the excluded variables, we see we have substance use here in model two. It was excluded, and its significance, its p-value, was 0 0.054, 0 0.054. So it was not statistically significant, and it was removed from the model. So in this model, we just have anxiety and depression, substance use, was excluded. So moving back to the data view, and we can do this from the output view as well, I want to take a look at the backward elimination just to compare it to the forward selection method. I'm not going to really change anything in this dialog except for the method. Everything else is going to stay the same. Under here, 
uh, under the independent list box we have method it's set to forward because that's what I just ran before I'm going to move it to backward so remember in forward we have an empty model and we have these variables uh, added on as long as they meet the criteria in this case the p-value less than 0 0.05 with a backward elimination all of the predictors are loaded into the model and then the variable with the largest p-value is removed and the model is recalculated and this continues until you only have variables in the model that have a p-value less than 0.1 so that is the probability to remove 0.1 so I've changed this method to backward I'll click OK and here we can see uh, the descriptive statistics again the correlations variables entered removed and we have the model summary ANOVA and coefficients so here with variables entered removed notice we have the substance use depression and anxiety and none of the variables were removed even though going back to analyze we can see we selected backward elimination we have that selected however none of the variables were removed so if we look down at this coefficients table we can see that depression has a p-value of 0 0.044 statistically significant anxiety does too 0 0.001 and substance use does not have a statistically significant p-value it's 0 0.054 the same p-value we saw using forward selection however the probability to remove criterion is 0.1 so using backward elimination we actually retained all three of the variables all three of the variables stay in the model so just to demonstrate what this process would look like the backward elimination would look like if the substance use variable was removed so if you had all three variables loaded at once as you do in a backward elimination and then substance use was removed from the model I'm going to go over to the data editor and I'm just going to change some of the values uh, in a way that I think will push the probability value above 0.1. So here on record 10, I'm going to change this 39 to 65. And record 11, I'll change this value to 70. And here for record 12, I'll change this value to 75. All right, so that should do it. Uh, these three changes of records 10, 11, 12 uh, should change the probability value enough to eliminate that predictor variable from the model. So regression, linear, this is the same procedure, uh, backward elimination, click OK. And we can see here uh, we did reach that level because substance use was removed a backward method backward elimination method criterion probability to remove greater than or equal to 0.1 so moving down looking at the rest of the output uh, we can see that the substance use the probability associated with substance use 0.222 so it was eliminated and model 2 gave us just depression and anxiety so in this instance uh, after manipulating the data the forward selection and the backward elimination gave us the same result this model 2 that has just the depression and anxiety predictor variables I hope you found this video on using forward selection in a multiple regression in SPSS to be helpful and thanks for watching